Hello friends and enemies. It's a beautiful day today, so I thought I'd go outside. There's just uh, different sounds and noises all around. Birds, people hammering, doing some roof repairs, airplanes. But uh, to the main uh, uh, topic. When we, uh, when, when we think, where did those thoughts come from? Uh, and are those thoughts something that we create within ourselves? Or are they given to us from an external force? But uh, when I have come to an understanding that was given to me by an external force, I of myself would not have come to this understanding, never. When searching for the meaning of, of life and of what life means and what it's all about for many, many years, there has always been different answers to that question. But finally, it has been established in me uh, by the Creator to know the answer. And it is written in the scriptures. Uh, you know, the not, not exactly uh, like uh, per se uh, it's not exactly quoted you know well this is the reason why life is and this is the reason why we exist you know not exactly to that extent is it explained but uh, the purpose of, uh, of why I exist and uh, you exist and the birds and the and the sea animals and and everything the reason why everything exists life in general is for the amusement of the creator it's for his pleasure for his amusement that's the purpose of life that's the final answer that i have been given and I'm just going to uh, say some scriptures here that can back up what I am saying. Ecclesiastics 9.1 I'm not going to read it, but you just go and read it for yourself. But e Ecclesiastics 9.1 uh, Proverbs 16.4 Jeremiah 10.3 you know, these three scriptures that I just mentioned explain uh, explain that the Creator Elohim Yahweh is in control, and that He has established things for His purpose. If, if uh, man does not direct his own steps. We are being directed by him. We, there is nothing new under the sun. We are programmed by him to function as we do. Everything. Uh, me being here right now happened before this moment yet it has not happened. There's nothing new under the sun. But, uh, so, some uh, people like to go to the, uh, to the zodiac, uh, 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 what's it called, uh, horoscopes, 
to get their their ideas of how their life is going to be or how their day is going to be. Some like to open a fortune cookie and they believe, okay, this is how my life is going to be. And there's other things that people do in order to, to say, well, <clears throat> this is how my life is or my day is going to be established according to this cookie that I open or the Cracker Jack box or, or the fortune teller. But according to the scriptures, I mean, it's been established already what your day will be. Do not worry, for tomorrow will take care of itself. We do not make tomorrow happen. The plans that we plan for tomorrow have been planned beforehand for us. And, and though we, and though our lives have been planned for us, this is where I finally understand and I cannot get angry anymore even though I, I do get angry but I, but I understand and therefore I can control my emotions. When bad things happen as natural disasters or wicked people commit uh, real evil uh, monstrosities against other human beings, when you come to the conclusion that, uh, like I have, like it has been given to me, when you have that conclusion and it's been established in you like it has in me, then you can see that uh, the good and the evil, the be it good and evil that man does or good and evil that nature does, it's all been <coughs> uh, placed already. It's existed before it happens. And it's for his pleasure, for the Creator's uh, pleasure. I, I do not believe in free will as I have that mentioned in some of my other vi videos. And since there is no free will, therefore <clears throat> we are living out a, we, we are living our lives according to how they have been written by the Creator before the foundations of the earth were established. And even the devil, Satan himself, who he is in power and he does control the things on the earth, but he is only allowed to do so much even he does not have the free will capacity to do everything. He is governed and controlled and only allowed to do so much. So, so it is with each one of us. So, uh, I don't want to drag this on any, any, any anymore, but uh, so that is my understanding of what the meaning of of life is. The meaning of life to me is to exist for the Creator's purpose and for His amusement and for His pleasure. And He establishes each of, of, of our ways and, and our lives. Man does not direct his own steps. Jeremiah 10, 23. It is not in man to direct his own steps. I, man's ways, life, and, 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 and his steps, the actions that he does have been established. Also, when we pray, it's not really our prayer that brings around the change in the circumstances, but it was already established before we even prayed what would happen or what would not happen according to the prayer, whether there would be a healing or some other kind of miracle or 
or what have you. So, anyway, that will be it. Uh, thanks for listening. And so, knowledge is not found in a Cracker Jack box or in a fortune cookie. Believe less and think more. Yahweh bless. Just wanted to uh, to add uh, something else to the uh, to what I was uh, talking about. Uh, so when a person is evil, it is because the Creator is allowing him to be evil. When a person is good, it is because the Creator is allowing that person to be good. And it is for that reason, since He is allowing there to be good and evil, and since He created evil, like it says in the scripture, therefore He has to, well He doesn't have to, but He's going to save all life, all human beings, no matter how wicked you were, will have your place somewhere in salvation. Mind you that uh, there is a process. One has to be refined in his fire. There is scripture to back that up, where people are placed in fire and are refined and purified with the fire of Elohim. So, all people will be saved according to how it has been given to me to understand life. All will be saved, even the most wicked of wicked people. Since he is the one that made the person to be wicked and the person doesn't have the free will or the opportunity within himself or, or herself to be a good individual or a righteous person, then wouldn't you think that it would be just and fitting for an all-loving God to, after that person has served their purpose of being wicked, because he established them to be wicked, wouldn't a just and all loving God give salvation to that person? After all, that person is doing the will of God, the will of the Creator. Not his righteous will, but he is doing the will of the Creator. So, all life will be saved in, in its established uh, in its established uh, way that it has uh, been established and how it will the 144,000 and then all the rest of the people. Anyway, thanks for listening. Yahweh bless.